A few weeks ago, I put out a video where I opened up Movavi Video Editor Plus for the first time and tried to see how easy it was to learn on the fly and put together a quick sequence. And I had a lot of fun with that video, so I decided to make a series around that where I just go around and explore different video editing options and see which ones I recommend that you try out and which ones I recommend you run far, far away from. This week, we're looking at NVIDIA, which is an online-based editor. This should be interesting. Let's take a look. Before we get started, I just want to send a huge shout out to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. If you want to check them out for yourself, there is a link in the description as well as a code for 25% off. So if after watching this, you've decided you want to give it a try, make sure you take advantage of that. So what exactly is NVIDIA? It's not really an NLE. Like it's not like DaVinci Resolve or Filmora or Movavi or Premiere Pro or anything like that. It's, it's an online based video editor and it's geared more towards short form videos so you can make social media ads or short you know those short videos that you see on facebook like those quick recipes and stuff like that those can all be made in in video they also have logo reveals and uh, templates for end screens for your YouTube videos. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Like there's a bunch of pre-made templates on there, like over 300,000, I believe. And so there's a lot you can do with it. You can also do things like turn a blog article into a video. I don't have a blog, so we're not going to do that, but you can also do a blank template and we're going to be playing around with that a little bit later on in the video. But first let's just dive in and see what we've got. So like I said, we've got pre-made templates. That's this tab right here. And you can search for a pre-made templates so of real estate or something like that. You can also choose your aspect ratio. They've got a bunch of aspect ratios here that are sized for specific social media networks, which I think is really cool. Like I said, this is geared towards short form social media content. So you've got Facebook stories, YouTube landscape, Instagram stories, Facebook news feed videos, and Instagram posts. So so that's that's pretty cool you don't have to worry about the aspect ratio you just click a button and it resizes it for you and then if we scroll down a little bit we've got some of these pre-made templates if we mouse over one of the templates you can actually get a preview of it so here's a logo reveal and then we've got an ad for some sunglasses and an architecture and digital marketing agency dream home there's a there's a bunch of stuff here and if we scroll down it's there's a lot here's our brand intros and outros so here's some logo reveals right here we're going to be trying one of these out a little bit later and if we come over here we've got an end screen for a youtube video so that's pretty cool maybe we'll make one of those as well i don't really use end screens my end screen kind of just flows into the end of the video so i probably I probably won't do anything with that. And then this is really, really cool. We've got uh, a monthly calendar. So every time the month changes, this refreshes and it gives you all of the holidays for the month. So apparently tomorrow is Garfield the Cat Day. I had no idea, but if I wanted to make a video about Garfield, They've got a template for that, which is really cool. And then we've got first day of summer, Father's Day, basically every single holiday, no matter how big, how small, you can get a pre-made template for it. Like National Selfie Day, what is that? I, I did not know that was a thing. But again, if I wanted to make a video about National Selfie Day, I can do that. I'm not going to do that. Moving on. That's the pre-made template section. So we're going to dive into there. And then here's a uh, article to video. So you select your template to get started pretty cut and dry. Oh, we've got more. Oh, look at that. There's more LinkedIn newsfeed, Twitter timeline, Twitter timeline again, IGTV, Facebook carousel ads, Snapchat, YouTube story. Wow. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Another, a landscape Instagram post wide vertical presentation square that's pretty cool there's a lot more a lot more ratios than i thought there was that's that's awesome okay so article to video we've got story 
that's what it is. This is just all the pre-made templates. Let's go ahead and click on one, see what that does. We're not gonna actually put one together because like I said, I don't have a blog, but let's just see how you would do that. So we come in here and we choose our aspect ratio. Click use this template. Oh, I haven't, si I haven't signed in. So I'll have to do that. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Move on, let's go to blank template. You can, you just choose your aspect ratio and start editing. So that's the homepage in a nutshell. And let's just for the sake of it, take a look at the pricing here. So if you wanted to sign up for NVIDIA and you wanted a yearly plan, it's 10 bucks a month for an annual plan and 30 bucks a month for an unlimited plan, which what's the difference here? So it looks like the only difference between the two, you get 300 photos and videos, which is, they're all brought to you by Storyblocks and Shutterstock. So the guys at NVIDIA, the NVIDIA owns and it, or has an account for Shutterstock and Storyblocks. And so all of this stock footage and stock images that you use in here is from there and Storyblocks and Shutterstock both have some really high quality stuff. So that's pretty cool. So you get 300 a month to use in business and then in unlimited, it's unlimited. And then down here, uh, exports, HD video exports per month, you get you get 60 for business and you get unlimited for unlimited. Okay, that's cool. Video duration, 15 minutes max on both. You got reseller rights. Well, if you are part of a marketing agency and you want an easy way to make short form videos for social media for your clients, you can resell the videos that you make on here. Unlimited team members, automatic text to speech. That's really, really cool. Okay, that's... Uh, that's pretty awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and log in here. Okay, so we are logged in. We've got, uh, we're back on the homepage. Basically, we are, we're back. Everything is, everything is here. You've got your monthly calendar. You've got all your templates. So the homepage is the same. If I come up to the top, we've got favorites and projects up here. That's, that's, okay, that's good. And then over here, there's your basic, uh, log out, team settings, share and earn, uh, brand presets. Let's take a look at that. They told me about this in the call. Okay, so what I can do here apparently is I can put in my brand name, choose my typeface that looks fine. I'll take a look at that. I can upload a logo. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, and it has to be a square logo. So let's go ahead and do light gray circle drop shadow open auto suggestion of colors are available as per updated logo do you want to apply suggested colors yes oh that's cool so what that did was it suggested brand colors i'm pretty i'm pretty bland with my brand it's just very black and light gray that's kind of kind of my thing like this t-shirt like my like my create and be happy t-shirt links in the description all right let's keep Let's keep going. So we've got our text color, we've got highlight color, background color, accent color. There you go. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Facebook page. So we can put in our, our stuff here. So let's go ahead and do that. End clip default. If you are uploading your own end clips, make sure you upload it for all the dimensions for which you will be making videos. Okay, well, we don't have any any end clips really. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the default thing and we're going to hit save. All right, let's make some stuff. First thing we're gonna do is something easy. Let's go ahead and choose a brand intro here. Let's see if I can find something that I like. Let's just go ahead and use this one. Do it for YouTube, 16 by nine. Use this template. Let's go ahead and play this. Not bad. That's pretty cool. I, uh, I'm kind of a fan of that. One thing that I would love to do though is resize my logo. Want my logo nice and big. Maybe double click on that. Okay, triple click to select everything. And we're just gonna type in J 
Lipman. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff here on the on the side here. So if I wanted to add maybe an actual video here, I could search for something. Let's say uh, camera. We've got a bunch of stuff here. So let's go ahead and maybe choose this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And then in here, would you like to trim your video? The video will be added without any watermark. That's cool. So uh, time in, in time is, okay, so it's a nine sec, nine, nine second video, I guess. That's a nine second video. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit done. but I want that as my background. Can I do that as my background? Let's see here. What's layers? Oh, is this how I would do it? I guess this is how I would do it. All right, let's see here. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, now let's play it. Okay. Not bad at all, not bad at all. So we've got the J Lipman, J underscore Lipman, and J Lipman. All right, that looks good. Preview and export. All right, export video. All right, so there you go. That's that's how you make an intro. That's That was fairly simple. Let's do one of these pre-made templates, something that's a little bit more difficult. Let's go ahead and do something like, oh, I don't know. You know what? Let's do something for Father's Day, because that's coming up this weekend, right? All right, Father's Day message for a loving dad, daddy day coupon, Father's Day quote. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. Again, we'll do YouTube, use this template. Okay, so we've got our logo in the top left. So that's a good branding option here. We've got video here. We've got our text here. And then if we click on each scene, got that, we've got that. And that looks, that looks pretty good, but I'm not entirely certain I'm in love with those colors. Can I? So we've got background elements, which are locked. Can I unlock those? I can absolutely unlock those. So what's that? There's a background element. What do we have here? Change project colors. There we go. So brand, what does that do? If I switch it, so that's what it would look like right there. All right, custom, here we go. Click on any color. So let's go ahead and make the back maybe kind of a teal. That's good, I like that. Maybe make this more of a red. Okay, I like that. I like that there. And that, I actually kinda like that. Let's make this black, let's actually make that white. Okay, so there you go. We've changed the color of our video, that's nice. We can upload something else, I guess. Media, let's see what we got. Dad. I like this one here. We want to resize that though. All right. I like that. Let's go ahead and play that real quick. See what we've got so far.
And so that's our video. What else can we do here? We can choose different music. Let's put the headphones on for this. So we can either choose one of these songs, which is pretty cool, or we can upload our own music, which is which is a nice touch. So you don't have to rely on their music because let's be honest, a lot of music that comes in programs like these tends to be just a little bit let's just leave it at I don't usually like it so I would definitely upload my own thing here but that's that's pretty good let's see what else we have we can add text we already looked at that before we've got not only regular headings but we've also got some pre-made titles some pre-made just a bunch of pre-made stuff here social media credits got a bunch of stuff location boxes speech bubbles that's pretty cool and then we've got stickers here so we can do, we can do a sticker like, um, let's see, what, what can we do here? Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll preview and export that. Okay, so that's all the pre-made stuff. I mean, it's really simple to put those together. And so if you're doing something really short for social media, maybe an ad or something like that, I would highly, I would actually recommend this because you can get things out quickly. The videos are pretty good quality and it's just, it just works. I mean, it's really, really simple to use. Now let's do something a little bit more difficult and jump in and try and put together something from scratch. All right, so we're gonna go to create. We're gonna go to blank template. We're gonna choose a 16 by nine, start editing. All right, so we have our own thing. Let's go ahead, can we delete this? Doesn't look like that. Well, I guess I could delete this right here delete the logo for now because what we're going to do is actually create something from scratch. So let's go ahead and with media, we're going to upload our own media uploads. Here we go. Upload files up to 800 megabytes. Let's see what we've got here. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff here which we probably won't need. So we're going to do these clips and then that music track and we're going to hit open and we got to go through each one of these that's interesting so instead of just uploading it it's gonna ask us each for each one if we want to upload the full video or trim it i am going to upload the full video for each of these so those are all uploading now and they are optimizing. Okay. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is just put these clips in order. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this as the first. So let's go ahead and add that in. It's going to be our very first scene. And we're going to add a scene. There we go. Build your own scene. Come back to our uploads, woman getting out of the car. We can delete our logo and delete our text and so on and so forth. You get the idea. You add a scene, you choose what kind of scene you want and you put together the you put together the stuff and we'll let me just throw those video clips in there and then we'll we'll move on. Okay, so we've got all of our video clips here. Let's go ahead and play that through just to see what it looks like. Okay, not bad. That's not bad at all. Now it's time for music. So let's come down to music. And I see, even though I uploaded it in uploads, it's not 
it's not here, which is not cool. So let's go ahead and upload my music track again. There it is. Hit open. And now it's shown up in my music. So let's go ahead and select that. And let's go ahead and play that. Make sure the music's there. Okay, so for some reason, what's happening right now is I'm getting a bunch of different, I'm getting a bunch of static in this stuff. Like there's no, there's no music, it's just static. So I'm not sure what the deal is, what the deal is there. That's really, really weird. Is there's just, there's no, is there a way that I can, Delete, add new scene, best scene time. Can I get rid of that static? That's so strange. There it is. Okay, so I need to click on the things and I need to turn the volume all the way down. Turn the background music up. So this is a little weird it, and it was hard to, it was hard to find. So basically you have audio volume up on no matter, let me take my headphones up off. You've got audio volume all the way up by default on every single one of these video clips, which is great if the video clips actually have audio, but when they don't, the vo audio volume still all the way up and you're just getting a bunch of static. It, there were, there was no audio on these clips, so I feel like they should have just been silent right off the bat. So that's a little weird. I don't think it's a deal breaker for me, but it definitely, I feel like there should be a little bit of tweaking there. Let's, let's see what else. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of these and turn down the volume, turn the background music all the way up. And then our last scene, click on that audio volume down, background music all the way up. I'm gonna give this a listen real quick and let's let's take a look here. Okay, so that sounds good. You're gonna hear it once we're all done and I have this whole thing put together, you're gonna, you're gonna hear it. It's a, a minute long, but I'm gonna show you the entire sequence that I put together. This isn't, this isn't bad and actually, you don't have to really trim this. It goes really well with the music, but if I wanted to trim this, I could do, let's see, what's this? Oh, look at that, animation. So I can cross zoom, wiper left, wiper right. So these are all trans transitions, film rolls. There's a bunch of transitions here. Okay, that's pretty cool. What about trimming? Can I trim the length of this scene? I can, so I can, I can trim it. That's pretty cool. There we go. So trimming's fairly easy. Trim it. You can, can't trim from that side. You have to trim from the right, which is weird. That's very weird, but you can trim it. So that's nice. What else can you do? Let's see if we click on this scene media. So that is okay. That's the video clip. Video edit, what do we have? We have blur, what do we do if we blur this? Oh, it, it blurs it. We can trim the video, oh, there we go, there's trim video. Um, so let's go ahead and use the full video. Playback speed, so we can slow it down to quarter speed. We can speed it up to two and a half speed. We can resize it to either crop to the screen, fit with blur, fit with transparent. What does fit with transparent mean? Okay, I see. So we actually get some black bars there. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, crop to screen. Looks like it's the same as... Okay, stretch to screen. Okay, gotcha. So we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do crop to screen here. Video animation. So I can let's see in. I can fade. I can fade in for 
one second. So let's go ahead and play that. Okay, so it fades in. We're actually gonna take that, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and do none. But what we can do is the very first scene. Let's go ahead. First scene is a little bit long. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fade that in. Fade in, not five. Let's go ahead and do uh, one, two seconds. And then what we'll do in our last scene, click on that, up that fade. To three seconds, video animation, out. Oh, there we go. Three seconds. Okay. That's good. I'm liking this so far. This is this is fairly simple. The controls are weird. They're kind of all over the place a little bit. It's definitely taking some getting used to, but this isn't this isn't bad at all. All right, let's see. What are what are the project colors? Let's go ahead. Go to brand. Apply. Cuz what I want to do real quick is add a scene. We're going to add this and maybe change that background a little bit because I'm not a huge fan. Let's go to media, camera, that'll work. All right, so we've got that in there. Let's go ahead and do go change these all to white let's just go ahead and delete that element there we don't really need that and let's play that back go ahead and do some video animation in fade in two seconds and play that again Okay, one thing we definitely need to do is get rid of the background. Play that scene one more time. That looks good to me. All right, moving on. I wanna come back here. I wanna increase the fade here. Let's see here, video animation, in, fade in. Let's go up to three seconds. And play that. That looks good. All right, moving on. Let's see, do we want any text? We are going to add some text. Let's see, what are we gonna do? What should we call this? We'll call this exploring the mountains the style that looks good for me colors are good do we want to, we'll do, yeah, we have a drop shadow on there, text animation. Let's see, we'll do a fade in. All right, let's play that real quick. So let's see what else we've got. We can do sticker. I don't think I really want to do any stickers, but we've got some effects. So what can we do here? We've got some confetti, we've got entertainment. Fireworks, grunge, hearts, light leaks. Ooh, light leaks. Light leaks are fun. Okay. Let's go ahead and add some light leaks onto here. Mmm. Not a huge fan. What happens if I mess with the layers? It's a 
supposed to be an overlay. What if I move it back behind the video? I don't think I like the light leaks. Let's go ahead and get rid of those light leaks. Oh, so we've got some powder explosions. We've got retro. Ooh, what's retro? Can we fade out this overlay here? Doesn't look like it. Nope. So we're going to get rid of... I'm not a fan of that one. We've got some smoke. We've got snow. It is kind of a cloudy day. There's snow on the mountains. Let's see what snow looks like. Uh, let's see. Is there more? There's more. That'll work. Let's add that. Play that back. Not bad. Should we make a, a snowy scene? I think we should. First, let's go ahead and click on that. And again, we can't fade it in, which is crazy. Can we move it at all? Doesn't look like it. So we would have to just loop that then. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do some more snow. Across all of these. All right, so we've got our snowy scene. We've, we've got pretty much everything here. What else do we have? We've got some shapes. So we can put in some circles, some solid cubes, some transparent badges, some lines. I don't think we really need to do anything there, but let's go ahead and just click that to add it. And then, yeah, it's just resizing and move it around don't really need that so let's go ahead and get rid of those enhancers what do we have collage layouts okay uh one image two images oh that's cool so you can add different images three images so if you wanted to do if you wanted your video to have a collage in there you could do that, but I think this might be everything we need for this sequence. What else can we do here? Change project colors, resizing, playback speed, fade, scene media, video edit, just has trim, loop off, and crop frame. So there's no... Uh, there, there are no color grading options here. There's the only audio option is selecting how loud you want the background music to be and how loud you want the the audio on the video clip itself to be. That's that's all you get. So if you're looking for color grading or audio editing, there, it's this is not for that. This is for short form videos. I would not necessarily recommend putting a vlog together on this unless maybe you're editing on a Chromebook or a really, 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 really ridiculously old laptop and you just do not have the option of downloading software onto it. That's the only time I would put a longer form video. You have the option of making up to a 15 minute video, but you don't like you can't do any sound design. Like I said, you can't do sound design. You can't do any color grading or anything like that. So I would I would definitely not do a vlog. I am interested to see how long it will take to do all of that. But there's first first thing that I want to do real quick is one of the things there's some automated features in NVIDIA that they were telling me about that I really want to try out. So like right here, we've got best scene time. And that didn't really do anything there. Let's go ahead and see if this, if this does anything. Best scene time. It doesn't really resize it, but let's go ahead. Here we go. We'll scan. It will scan your scenes and suggest tiny but effective solutions. Let's go ahead and click on that. See what it says. It says I made a 
pixel perfect scene, which means there's no, they did not recommend that I change anything. Now, what is best scene time? I still don't quite understand what that is, but uh, judging by the name, I would think that it's, that it's trying to determine how long each scene should be, but it's not really, it's not really doing anything there. It's not trimming anything. So that's, that's fine. That is totally fine. Let's move on. A couple other things that you can do on here. Uh, one is voiceover and you've got a bunch of different options here. You've got automated voiceover, which we're gonna look at in just a second. You've got, you can record a voiceover on here. You can upload a pre-recorded voiceover from your computer, or you can import it from your uploads folder in NVIDIA. But right now I really wanna show you, uh, cause when they showed this to me before, this was like super, super cool. So let's go ahead and we're going to do automated voiceover. We're actually going to do this maybe in scene. We'll do this in scene two, actually. We're going to keep scene one, just, uh, just, just music and the scene and the title. So here we're going to come to add voiceover, automated voiceover. And we can try out different voices here. There's a girl, I'm gonna make this kind of like an, a, an autobiographical documentary thing. So let's go ahead and find a voice that we like. I guess we'll stick with Sally. Sally seemed to be the best one. So we're gonna do Sally and we're gonna enter some text here. I've always loved going to the mountains. hit generate voiceover and just add a voiceover to the scene. I'm just going to go ahead and, and add all this and then I'm going to export the video and, and we're going to, we're going to take a look at the finished product right now. I've always loved going to the mountains. The peaceful quiet and the open air give me a chance to get away from it all. No matter what time of year it is, I always look forward to reconnecting with my friends in the wild. This is where I belong. So like I said before, I wouldn't necessarily use this for long form videos. There were some issues that came up that I wasn't able to rectify. Actually, there was only one that I wasn't able to rectify and that was the auto ducking of the music when that voiceover kicked in. It was really abrupt. I'd like to see it be a little bit smoother. Maybe, maybe a future update can correct that. But other than that, any problems that I had were just due to me being new to the software and I was able to find the tools that I needed in order to correct those problems. So all in all, if you're looking for something that is affordable and easy to use, has a ton of features and will help you create short form videos for social media, I would 100% recommend in video. But if you're using it for vlogging, maybe not so much. There's just, there's no color grading. There's just not enough editing options to use it to vlog with. But if you are looking for something that's affordable, easy to use, has a ton of features, and you can use it for long form videos, check out this video right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that will help you become a better video editor, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.